We're recording, boys. We got it. Or girls. And or. Whatever. Let's... Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunate. That's better. Oh, and... I should probably move Epic Pen to a better position. There we go. Um, yeah, we are using Epic Pen today. Yay! Let's go ahead. Nope. What's the sound? Okay, I yeah, should get that right. You can get the baby. See ya. Oh, <laughs> even better, you got the three. Nice. So I've been, I've, I have been kind of dabbling with the Hammonds, but uh... so I have seen that part before, and that's just kind of like a precursor thing. Um, let me turn off, turn that down a little bit. Um, don't know exact volumes and how it's going. Um, let's. Want this barely going? Ah, okay. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's turn up Jane. We're doing it. Um. Uh, for people who are just kind of there, we go. Just starting. And um, I'm gonna turn down Jane. To play Hammond, like what is the what is the first thing about like the play? Okay, okay, we got it. I think we got it style for Hammond that kind of new players don't really understand or don't usually pick up on right away. Um, it his playstyle is kind of like a disruptor playstyle. Agreed. I think one thing people do is they they take out the heart and they really try to like go in all the time, but you don't have to go in all the time. It's kind of like you just engage the bottom True. line and whatnot here and there. You're yeah. the engager. You're the the engager and the disruptor. That's what you do. Okay. Okay, so I do want to add a little bit to that. I don't know if this is actually on his, his stream. There's many different nuances to Hammond, and I call him kind of a toolbox hero. So there's a lot of different cool things you can do. Let's see. Is that actually gone? Wow, that, that was a low threshold to actually get picked up. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of nuances with Hammond in general, and I kind of call him a toolbox hero, mainly just because of the idea that you're not really set to do one thing. Um, initiator is one of the things he can do, but one thing that people kind of forget about is with Winston, he can initiate and hide behind his barrier, which basically means he can't get slept or pretty much stunned in general. And so it's a protection to him. Hammond kind of works in a similar vein to how Sombra's initiation goes, where you don't want to be the first one initiating. You want to initiate after. So like the whole thing happens and then you come in and you save the day. I've said this quite often of you don't want Hammond to be the first one to land. You want Hammond to be the second one to land. Um, that's why I like him in a three tank dive comp. Because you get the Winston Diva doing their regular dive. But then Hammond comes in and does a toolbox method. So he doesn't really land um, like a regular of we dive the Zen. I like his peeling mechanic. Because you can actually go in and you can knock knock away Ryan. There's a whole strategy of knocking away Ryan constantly. Um, but you want to kind of establish threats. Harass them. Just like that, like he said. Um, getting in, getting out. Um... Using grapple hook to your advantage. There's a lot of things you can do with grapple hook. A lot of people think that you have to use grapple hook only for your mobility or only for to set up pile drive. But there's a lot of things you can do to like whack people around. Sometimes there's a there's um the best way to actually do the grapple is to start in a position and loop back around. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, but basically, if you set up a grapple very similar to how diva players play, where you don't just boost and then you stay, you boost and then you turn around and go back a different direction to get onto the high ground similar thing with hammond you want to swing hit and then s continue the swing up with one fluid motion so let's and continue third person yeah i'm assuming the uh staircase is this one that you're talking about yes exactly so here i'm gonna so you want to go up top though i'm gonna go up top and if the brig isn't working yeah. could you and what am i gonna do from here so you can so this is a cool position um there's some there's some pluses and minuses with this one. Um, I tend to, 
I tend to use the high ground that we us that you usually set up an Arissa on. Um, just I don't get to see the front door as much, but what I'm looking for is a sniper perch. Um, and then I'm able to look. So I actually sit in the hallway and use that. And the main reason is because I, um, I'm usually afraid of an Ana coming out and sleep darting me. Because a good Ana can actually do that really quickly. Or if a Sombra gets a little um, aggressive. It's, it's probably just me. Yeah, this is this is completely workable. There's pluses and minuses both one. This is more information that he's getting. Just by being here, you can see this line of sight. Whereas if he's on the other side, he would see a different line of sight. Um, but I I prefer the right one because it allows for more. But yeah, it, it's it's different. Um, I could see myself doing this one as well. So Third both of them are okay. Going. Yeah. And then... Let's it's say they want to go through the hotel side, then you can jump the statue and then jump onto them with a pod driver. No grapple yep. needed. Or if they... So I also so the the version I do is I go up to the Arisa position. Um, it's like back over here on the high ground, you know, um, by clock tower. Um, I like that position because I like to initiate on them on the point, and the main reason is because usually my team is bunkered. Um, behind hotel and so I don't want to actually because he's wanting Jane to land here um, let's try a different color he wants Jane to land here which is completely okay it's just I've never had good stuff with this this is good if you have like you're on a player on the high ground in the back and has line of sight otherwise you're kind of alone on this initiation okay, close side, you can uh, oh, okay. no worries so if it looks like you're probably gonna die to their comp, yeah. then you'd want to pod driver and then immediately. I just want to make sure we're good. We'll head out. So there is one thing that I've been trying to do personally a lot more often. I got into a bad habit of pod driving and then adaptive shield, and I think a lot of Hammond players did. Um, and I'm trying to actually do more of an adaptive shield than pod drive, because it's really hard to kind of get the adaptive shield afterwards. And I, even though like. It allows your support to actually heal you more often. I found that a lot of cases, supports will just ignore me. Um, especially if you're a very mobile Hammond, supports will tend to just kind of go, yeah, I'm not going to try to hit you. I aren't able to hit, hit you. Because usually your best option in that scenario is, is an Ana hit, pocketing you. Um, which, depending on the Ana, they might just be like, I can't hit that. Okay, so what are they playing here? Anna is playing from back arch, so perfect. we probably shouldn't. So yeah, you can. Yeah, so th this is the line of sight you can see. Um, I like usually seeing the top high ground first. Um, that's really all I'm worried about, especially in solo queue. Um, that information is great, but as long as it, if you keep it to yourself, it's pretty much worthless. Play too far up. Ryan's already Genji Ana. That's good so far. And so yeah, you can see he's muted. Not helping his team. A Widowmaker. This is really good for me. So there's both These bubbles. Both bubbles. Yeah. Okay. So the thing with this one is he took a little bit too long. Um, Anna is playing from back arch, Ryan's already so broken. we probably shouldn't play too far up. You can just play around. Ryan's already Genji so yeah, let's, That's good so far. And a Widowmaker. Let's watch this That's a little really bit. So there's both These bubbles. Both bubbles. So... What Jane's doing is he's taking, he's taking this curve route, um, which which works. This is more of a this is a route you'll take if you wanted to disrupt the tanks, which is a viable option. Um, you can hit this platform and then roll up and over and then pile drive right here. Um, this is to cover a flank, and then you can immediately grapple Mondata and then. Sp spin up to the um, high ground by clock tower. Yeah. But yeah, they just rotate away from him. And you can see he barely hit the Ana, which still works. Um, if he hit it a little bit earlier, it's kind of a bummer he didn't hit the Rhine um, because it's nice to hit the Rhine as well. Out of there. Oh, I got slipped. On escape, you don't want to go through a tunnel because they automatically know where you're going. You're very predictable because you're about the size of the tunnel they can see you like i said you want to hit mandata and swing up um so if he 
That's good so far. And a Widowmaker yeah, is really good for me. So there's Let's see if we get the I'll angle. Do. So if you... Uh, okay. So if right now what he did was he... And, and it's kind of kind of easy. It's like a flick shot. Um, very similar to what you would do with like snipers. Is you land, you do your, your shooting, and then you meet... Let's actually... Go to shooting, shoot, 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 shoot. Tracking's a bit off, um, but he is, he's okay right now. His initial reaction is to go this way, and the enclosed area is a little sketchy. I do like the idea of, hey, let's go for um, a health pack, but it's a small health pack. It's not going to do, do too much to you, and during this process, you have a very long direction to go in order to actually get anywhere. So like I said, you just do a quick flick up here, and you grab Mondata, and you circle around. So, like, let's say this is Mondata statue. Um, let's actually draw Mondata. So we have Mondata statue. This is super sketch. Um, and let's grab Hammond. Hammond, can we see it? Yes. Um, so, yeah, you, you grapple, grapple up here. And you swing around and up, and you can get onto this high ground right here on the map physically. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. And also nice as well if they, since they have their Genji, the Genji might have gone up there. So in some cases, oh, that's just easy to be done. No surprise, he got slept. Oh, oh, um, unlucky. So that's a pretty decent flick shot. A tip. Took a little bit more time, so you can tell he's not exactly. Um, he's getting better, but he's not. He's not very. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those things you can actually tell. There's different stages in learning Hammond. Um, when you first learn Hammond, you're you're basically worried about the time it takes to find the grapple spot. As time goes on, you'll just automatically know. Hey, I need to hit this window, and I can get to three different locations. Um, or I can hit this general area and I'll get to any location I want to without any issue. There's a lot of leeway in, in actually hitting your target. So um, there's a whole hesitation with rolling. Um, so yeah. Um, also, I'm out of there. Oh, I got slipped. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't die because they had a. I think they had a Zen as well. Yeah, they have a Zen. So yeah. I'm surprised he actually made it nice. out. Oh. So yeah, um, doing this transform not needed. Honestly, only transform when you're going to actually shoot someone. It's better to dodge because you can actually dodge oh, with the easy. ball as well. Oh, unlucky. All right. So yeah, that's pretty quick. Not as quick as it can be, but um, pretty good. Hi. Go next. I'd say pretty good land. Landed on the Zarya. Yeah. I would say try to hit the Ana more often, but this is good zoning out the team. Another thing to notice is that he doesn't have adaptive shield, and he's just gonna die now, like he should have in the first place. Oh hey! Unfortunate. Well, we'll get him. So the whole thing of unfortunate, yeah. So granted, the match there, is ending. Like, so when we were we were on the high ground, we hopped over the statue, and then we pile drive at their back line. Uh, after I'm there. <laughs> I got anteed, I got slept, I got discord, I popped the adaptive, I tried to get away. Like, how would you have done that? Is that, you know, they used a lot of uh, cooldowns on me and I got away. Is kind of doing that enough value? So, should I have gotten the kill there? What would you have done? No, you shouldn't have gotten it. Um, also, another thing as well, if that team was more grouped up, so let's say you wanted to land really near the Rhine, um, it's actually good to land near the Rhine and adaptive shield before he hits the ground. The reason is because his shield will block it. Um, if you are, if, if you're trying to block it as a Rhine, if you're a Rhine player, look down because it goes through, um, cause, um, adaptive shield doesn't, um, give barrier for people behind a shield. So try to block that line of sight. Um, otherwise, as a Hammond player, try to do it when they're up in the air because a lot of Rhines won't do that instinctively. Um, like, likewise, they wouldn't want to actually look at you and turn their back to the rest of your team. So, 
Um, that's just to kind of help out just in case if people are in front of the shield or whatever. It allows you to actually get that adaptive shield around. I kill it all. Um, I think when that happens, when you know that Ana's going to look to sleep you, if she sleeps and anties you or whatever, that's kind of like a, in a, in a sense, it's a trade because then she won't have the nade or the sleep dart for when uh, their front line starts fighting your front line, whatever yeah, your exactly. front line is yeah. other than you. Um, but what you'd want to do there is if you know you got the pile driver off on the Ana and she's going to look to sleep you, you'd want to like... <laughs> Also, by the way, all of this idea, all this idea of initiating changes if they are running a May or Sombra. If if you get slept, you're automatically frozen. You're just gonna die because May is gonna start freezing you. You die. You have no way to actually escape when you get stunned and then frozen. That's just bad. Um, hack done the same. Would have done the same thing. Um, so in those cases, you actually wait to have your have the team initiate and then you do you hit them um in the heat of the battle because usually a sombra won't change her entire focus to turn and hack uh hammond coming in from the back back up a bit and uh wait till she turns away again because you you want to stay it's kind of like sombra if you don't force the sombra out like sh you can just stay there and keep shooting at sombra okay basically like that in a sense so like back out behind their back line and force them to deal with you or just yes still exactly just okay so i could have gone to like the mega in a hotel or something and just... so like after you pile driver them you could have rolled towards like their side of spawn since like their whole team already crossed the choke and you could have just been on the the choke area you okay. know what i mean like uh, so it's almost like a hard yeah. flanking tracer where you exist on the other side to like continuously pressure from a flank it, exactly it's not always like that but in that scenario they didn't have anyone that could like hack you i guess or just keep chasing you around or anything like that so you could just pile driver and then poke them for free at that angle until they decide to deal with you and if they don't deal with you then you just roll right through them and hit, go for the pile driver again rinse and repeat sounds good so so okay so that idea does does have its merits um it is a play style that's a more disruptive i'm gonna play by myself play style which is completely okay in some situations, um, this will occur, especially if the team is aware of you. Um, there is some cases, and I think this would only work in high levels. This is where things get a little funky. Because I know that if I did that in plat, let's say if I did that in plat. This is, this is, this is what will happen. Let me actually draw. Let me draw the map. Um... It's actually, let me, let me actually draw the map. So this is, this is a choke point. Mon, eh, no, let's, it's, it's farther back. Yep, there we go. Bondata, and then we have, we have kind of the hotel. So. What he is saying in this situation is you land about here, try your best to kill the Ana, and then you roll back here. So in that scenario, um, let me also draw the high grounds area. So this is a clock tower. This is where I said I would, I would actually star Hammond as, um, just so I could see that high ground. Because really... In a lot of scenarios, I just want to know if they have um, a sniper starting out and if we need to be prepared for a sniper. Otherwise, nothing much really changes. Um, usually, you can tell if a May exists before the May actually lands, and if they're playing a song where it doesn't really matter. Those are your main key points that you want to know. So this is what he is wanting to do. He's wanting to actually go into the back, get the health pack, and all that stuff. Now, if I did that at plat, this is what would occur. We would have, because the Genji was coming in, we had the Zen, Niana, and I think maybe the Zarya. I'm not 100% sure. They would then turn around and actually start going after me. Which, some of you guys are like, this is a great thing, because they're focusing on you. Um, either way, if I went that way or if I went this way, I would die almost immediately. And it's because I takes so much of their attention a lot of plat players have problems with tunnel vision 
they will go straight at me and you would just get obliterated. And so the reason why I like going this route where I hook up here, because we still have pop, we still have grapple hook. It is a thing we can use. I swoop around here and I do, I do a couple things. A couple things can occur. Either A, I go in, either A, I go into this direction. I go into this direction. I go into their team that's right here. I continue along. And because at this angle, what's going to happen is you're going to have a tilt. So let's actually do a side view real quick. Um, so let me actually get a side view. So this is Mondata's statue. If you grapple, if you start your grapple here, this is what's going to occur. You do this, and then you're going to come down here. So you're going to end up high here and low here, which means you'll come back to the same spot. Now, you can actually control your movement keys to change this um, by slowing yourself down up here. You can actually increase your height and kind of rotate this swivel. This is the disc um, idea. And so what, what can occur here is that you are high up, which makes it very hard for them to hit you. And then you come back down. They've already used sleep or whatever. Um, and you can come at them again. This is if you're getting healing. Um, this is also, of course, sometimes for the Yana goes, nah, nah, I can't hit you. Um, and then in this scenario, you can release and you can go to that back health pack. I do that very often. Um, but I like getting my grapple in at some point. Um, but going back here just out of nowhere um, would kind of make them go, oh, I'll follow you. They usually don't forget about me. That's that's really the big problem, and I'll probably die in the process. And there's a good thing about that is, hey, I distracted people. But the problem is, in the grand scheme of things, I distracted people for long enough that they killed me and my team themselves. This is what happens in low levels, and this is why um, people can have issues in this low level is because this Rhine right here just sees another Rhine. He doesn't see that the entire team's moved. He doesn't see that opportunity to actually go and get kills. So he doesn't do anything. Nothing. Nothing. Not a zilcho. Um, and so you die in their back line without any help, behind a barrier, out of line of sight. And then they just group back up and wipe through your entire team. And there you go. You're screwed. Um, same thing goes in if you went this direction. They basically go that direction. It's just screwed. Um, also, by the way, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and put them at any time. I'll I'll be watching. Okay. What is the yeah, funny What guy. is the tank that uh, best supports Hammond? Oh. I'll answer this quickly. Zarya. Let's see what his answer is. Um, I think if they're not running like anything that's going to CC him hard, you can go Diva. So deep. That's a good point. So, in other words, it's basically for in the scenario that they don't have any CC abilities, it's D.Va. True. That is 100% true. Um, mainly just because if you are a good Hammond, the enemy team will try to actually change to counter you. And that's where Azaria is really good because she can bubble you protect you for so much damage and you don't get hit by cc which is hammond's biggest issue this is just great overall um if you don't have that problem where the enemy team doesn't care what you're playing a diva is okay true winston does a similar thing i almost say winston's better but yeah diva diva's just like the, the catch-all so you should be defense matrixing on his engages after his pile driver uh, how do I want to be? If the Hammond's a slow Hammond player, which is technically kind of a bad thing, but it's just when a Hammond player is actually getting used to actually playing, they end up getting more mobile the more time they actually put into them. Um, and then there's also that idea. It's a similar thing with Faras. Is Farmer C is kind of difficult for Faras that are used to not 
having a buddy next to him and the far kind of like i think Val valkyries um similarly was like i don't like far playing far mercy because the mercy has to keep up with me it's a similar thing with the hammond some scenarios it's not that well supporting the hammond as much as possible so for the most part if he doesn't have too much to worry about you don't have to like commit your boosters in with him you can just like play in as a as a middle piece in your team composition yeah, yeah. <laughs> rather than going in um in other words let him do his thing they do have a lot of cc then of course you have to really commit your uh defense matrix but for the most part diva's there like if you don't have a brigitte it's to help your back line and whatnot and okay. whoever else just to make sure the back line doesn't die while the hammond is just buffed in fucking narnia yeah true exactly okay so we'll try that out. We, we have a pretty tanky backline. Oh, so, up. Uh... Hmm. So in this comp, you're basically running a Genji Hammond Diva dive um, with a Mercy and Lucio, which is nice. Um, if you... A good way to actually work with this team is you can actually tell the Ash that I'm... Um, sh I'll pile drive and you can shoot him. Also, um, tell... Tell him where she's throwing the dynamite, so you can actually engage on whoever she hit. In with this specific composition, what I they've got the Mercy who's going to be hard pocketing the Ash. Yep. The Lucy is probably going to be aggressive with the Hammond Genji. Yep. So, mm -hmm. if alternatively you can also play Winston, and that dives well with him. Okay. So, yeah. but like in this composition, would you want me diving with the Lucio? See, exactly like Dice said, Diva and Winston could both work. Genji hamster or protecting the mercy ash uh so you actually want to be taking up position um so some hammonds will just go balls to the wall and just blindly jump in um a lot of hammonds will actually just kind of scope out areas i like to jump onto like a high ground position and kind of look things out but if i know where i'm gonna land and where i want to land i'll just be like hey um do you have a get a head start and i just kind of catch up to her um granted the better you get at playing hammond the less time you're gonna need to give the diva oh uh, no you, you'd still want to like stay in the middle okay so you uh, you protect the corner, have the ability so. to do both basically exactly if you can create so the hammond starts taking space you'd start... so as a ha hammond what you would want to be doing is um grapple up high on this so higher than the bridge because the grapple actually goes through walls so if you grapple higher you can swing you can actually go through and hit the reinhardt and then swing back up and over and kind of do the the like flipping flipping um oh swing kind of deal like you know how like those daredevils will just stand on a swing and just swing up and around and around and around and around um I like doing that because then you just zone off the Ryan out of there. Um, and then you also get very good, like, viewpoint to see what's going on with the enemy team. Start moving up to of course. All right, you can still combo uh, Bomb Slam here since it's last fight. Aww. So either you... Bomb Slam's pretty good. Um, bomb High Noon's pretty good. Um, because a lot of times, a lot of times when the Hammond lands in between the team, everyone turns around and, and looks at the Hammond. And I've caught a few people out a couple times, um, during a high noon, um, because they, they suddenly like freak out at the Hammond or usually what happens is because of the pile drive, they can't hear high noon. You can, you can tell them or you can just like watch his grapple and then, uh, go yeah, for I'll it. Watch it. Hey, uh, Wrecking Ball, as soon as you try and slam them here, I'm going to bomb. Just call when you're going. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of this positioning of the Hammond. Um, it's it's good when you're not used to finding grapple positions because then you're already there and you don't have to worry about getting grapple positions. Um, I prefer, I prefer like hanging. Let's see, for hanging down. Like right here, wall peeking, or right here, wall peeking, um, and just kind of like looking at the choke point. You can also do certain things where you, um, you can kind of bounce from this to this to the um, like little truck behind behind this guy. Um, you can bounce from there to there to there, um, which is nice. Options. But yeah, this is a good thing to do if you aren't used to that if you want to get used to it i suggest just going into a custom game 
Um, don't like it, you can lower the cooldown, but I suggest just keeping it at regular. Just run yeah. around the map. They're probably gonna go right to her, right. so. She's the top window. It works. Who is that, by the way? She's the top window. It works. So that took a little bit, but. Technically, it's a DV should have thrown earlier, but yeah, it works. I just watch out for Shatter. You might have it now. I think he does. Based yeah. on time. I think they have Shatter. Nope. Okay. Oh, well, you just well win. what a strange game. Let's just, uh. Hey, Chad, that was my warm up game. Gimme. Okay. 30 oh, minutes when we've gone too. through six minutes. Yay! Garden's a fun one. So, main rollout to bridge, try and knock him off? Yeah, you, you yeah. can do that. Um, you could also, you know, you could jump the gap between a uh, point and like nah. that yeah. zone, you know what I mean? I did know that, yep. So, do I uh, usually yeah, do could, that? Yeah, you could do that for the rollout. It's faster. Okay. And then, so like go from point to bridge to try and knock them off? Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, gonna be so huge, team. Wow. Personally, I, I feel like they, they Thanks, changed Matt. the knock from Hammond as of recently, so. What did they do? Personally, I, I feel like they, they Thanks, changed Matt. the knock from Hammond as of recently, so. It might be hard to get the boop off, but if. Hmm. If nothing else, you can always just like hold them at that choke at their end of the bridge. I don't oh, yeah, think we'll they did. Put your team in a good spot. So, I know there's different ways that you it's can like go about DNG, yeah, um, yeah. booping people off. I kind of like the dangerous route, um, which isn't really that dangerous. It's dangerous if you're not used to it. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So, this is, this is kind of pseudo my route. Um... So I usually actually go on the bridge itself just um, because I usually outpace Afara. And I can usually see Afara and warn my team. Um, whether or not they listen to it, whatever. Um, this grapple is probably going to kill him if he commits to the loop. Um... Oh, no. Okay. This is actually a good place to stop. So, so there's a couple ways to do it. Um, there's a way where you go to right here and then you grapple and you swing across this way and then you pile drive over here or you try to um a lot of hammonds actually die in this process um so a lot of them actually transform right here and stop this could pretty much get you killed if they're playing a lucio in some ca cases if they are playing a lucio they'll just kill you anyways because if you over hit over them they'll just boop you even further and you're kind of stuck um the common one that people always think of is the running forward and grappling this edge and then just booping through um but of course you can tell you would just die there's also grappling that edge and swinging around and going through this tunnel um that's very viable especially if you need to get the help i tend to do that occasionally um, but one that you can do to just kind of zone them out, especially if they don't, if you find out they don't have any, anything to really stop you, is grapple about here. So in the center, up above at this little point, at the little eave. So what occurs is you swing up through here, and you curl back around. So you actually go up and over this wall because you start at a low point and a high connect, a relatively high connection point. And so it'll allow you to swing back over the wall. If you... Actually, no. I'm trying to remember exactly. I think... I, I, th I can't remember exactly. But um, make sure that you do jump at this point because you can jump while connected. Um... So yeah, if you do that, you should be able to go up. If you do this, you aren't able to actually make it up, which is kind of weird. 
um, but it occurs. Um, so you can actually do an infinite loop and just constantly hit them over and over and over again, which is nice. If you do this maneuver and you try to do that swing back, you actually hit this wall and you get stuck underneath the map. Trust me, I did this a lot when first playing Hammond, um, just because I wanted to make it work. Um, but yeah, hitting that hitting that high works well, because um, then you loop back at a oh. higher. Oh god. Yeah. Just immediately deleted. Hammond players in a nutshell. Is it Zen or it's McCree Hanzo? Look. I I swear, like. Oh yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> deleted. I swear, anymore it's hard to actually stay alive as a tank. Oh, you're in the res. Nice. A lot of the times, what people find success is like a Winston player, is um. They will actually um. Oh, now I remember. I, I'll, I'll get back to that. But a lot of times, all people find success about a Winston player is because usually when Winston drops down the barrier, they're like, eh, screw it. I'm not going to burn down the barrier. But when it's a Hammond and his adaptive shield, they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we shouldn't that Hammond. Um, okay, this is, this is why I remember. Okay, so you see how we have it connected here? To make a perfect loop, he would have to go out here and then circle around and hit back up. But what he's going to do instead, which is going to cause an issue for him, is he's going to do this, a shallow, and another shallow turn and hit right there. Um, if he tried to commit to the full loop back onto itself to get back to his team. Let's see what he does. He hits the rock. Um, so yeah, he tried to do the curve to the side, but realized that he was going to hit a rock. Because that's a tight turn to make. So if he continued right now... Um, he would be too shallow to actually get up and over here. Because you want a longer cord. Oh, God. Oh, God. So he just... He, he did the stop momentum and turn back. Which is to... which is good good for people that are learning out. Because um, it's still viable. But it's a lot better to actually do the continue. Because you don't have a stop. They, like, try to contest the bridge again. What the fuck? My bad, my bad, my bad. That way they'll never touch point. Yep, viable. I usually get out of this with about 20 health, so he's lucky. Which is kind of weird. He's in Masters. I'm in Plat. Come on, guys. So this one he can actually do pretty well. Um, so this is actually around where he would want to hit. If he grappled up here, he could actually hook around here and go back the other direction. Um, this is, this is where like the micro decisions comes into play. What you want to do is you want to, the first decision you want to give yourself the most options. Um, so you can hook here. You can also hook on the Eve up here and allow yourself to go up high so that you could possibly get the health pack down back here. Um, right here. Um, or you can actually go all the way and help your team right here. A lot of micro decisions, or you can, um, get hype to find out a good pile drive. Um, allows you to see multiple things. So hitting here, you have not a, as much decisions as you could have in the first place. You basically are going to hit these people, either stop or you're going to continue on, or you're going to try to do a weird hook to the left, which is going to be kind of hard because you're going to have to correct your trajectory. So yeah, he's just going to continue. I might need help then. Back out, back out. It's not bad, just... Could have a better option. He's so low. Oh my god, that didn't go. Alright, cool. Got it. Should have hit higher. Um, because... So some people say that it's better to roll flat. And I disagree with them for a couple reasons. One, it is only better if you're trying to only move fast. So like out of the spawn doors, all that stuff. That's completely okay. But in scenarios like this, where you're swiping through an enemy team, what you want to do is you want to gain height at the end, so that A, you could possibly not get shattered. You can dodge a shatter that way, if you are just high enough so that you just hit their head. Um, and in some scenarios, they won't. a lot of players will aim um, based on just a height level. So they'll just try to keep a certain height uh, as their crosshair, so it just causes problems. Yep, good time to leave out. All perfect. That's good. 
Good job. Almost there, almost there. Good try on the Lucia. Oh, we got him. Nice. Got him. Never mind. That's good. Nice. Always go for those. Um, sometimes you'll get get people on that if you do the prediction. That's a good part to attach to. That's that's a place that I I like to attach to a lot. Um, oh, I didn't get that. So um, if you go um fast enough, you can hit like one of these corners, and you can kind of bounce up or. If you hit her, um, you can bounce yourself up. There's some scenarios in which if you hit a wall just right, you can bounce up and um, pile drive. In that scenario, hitting that little tower, yes, it's a good place to attach to in some scenarios. But I prefer hitting the eaves of the point itself because then you can actually swing up and into um, into the cap point and then get a good pile yeah, drive. Pile. Figure out who you want to hit and then get a good pile driver. Oh, he missed pile driver. He was trying to get pile driver but didn't get high enough. You can't really get that high and still be able to hit the diva. That's a good hit. Yeah, good job. Nice. Okay, there we go. So that was good. What you can do here is you can third person and see if they're gonna cross the bridge. Okay. And when they yes. do, you can roll through. So what I like to do is I actually like to go by the rocks. Um, let's see. What you can do here is you. Yeah. Okay. So what I like to do is I actually go like to go back here by the rocks. Um. Yeah, they can still hit you in some scenarios if they really, really wanted to, which it doesn't matter. You can change positions. It's not like they're gonna one shot you from across the map. Um. But it allows me so that I can actually get a good hit here and then loop into them if they try to go through. And then the other side of it as well is I have a straight shot to the eaves. And you're you going to see it person and see if they're going to cross the bridge. Okay. So if they cross around this direction, I like to hook up here on the eaves, swing across and pile drive them partially. Um, to just kind of split them up. And um, then I run away in some scenarios. It's not the best to do that. Um, so I actually get to the high ground over there and just start poking at them um, because sometimes they try to peel off. And they really can't kill and you from do, range. You can roll through them and roll to their mega. Like, you know what I mean? That far mega? Yeah. Not the close mega. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Dragon. And then rinse and repeat. You can just keep doing that back and forward. Okay. So, do that kind of like multiple times? Yeah. They're pushing Let me know side. when you want me to go. Oh. So, that's a pre-connection. Um, that's basically the whole idea of I know I'm going to swing at some point And I don't want to do a quick swing. So, I'm going to pre-connect. Completely Okay. But um, it is better to get into the habit of quick, quick, quick grapple. Um, just practice that. Um, it'll take about like ten hours to get comfortable. It is, it is long, but once you do, it's much nicer. Uh, wait till the Ryan gets on bridge if he does. Okay. Yes. So in this scenario, this angle is to hook across here, um, and sometimes teams will actually just straight up notice you and be like, uh, uh, no. Nah. Maybe right side? Yeah, right side, right, right side, right side. Right side. Right. Yep. The white room, never mind. So at this moment, he doesn't have the option to grapple to another spot because he already pre-grappled. So he could have hit these eaves, but he could, but he wasn't you able to. You can last him a little bit. You can kill that diva too. Okay. That, this rock is really easy to bounce off of and get a good hit on. No, I didn't and, do the and jump pile do the, on Yeah, see, so he didn't, so what he was trying to do is he was trying to actually hit the diva and um, pile drive off of her. You kill that diva too. No, I didn't. So you actually need to do that in ball form. Um, plus, if you're already reload reloading, just get into ball form, um, because she's just gonna remac fast enough. If you bounce off of this, you actually get enough height. Jump pile drive on her. Yeah, so you could have done the jump pile drive if he. Hit it. So he could have done jump pile drive. Yeah, the trick you, for gamers, you need to have like full ammo for when you're gonna max. True. What's behind us? He's one of his. You can just grapple and hit. Did she already use booster? No, I didn't get the jump pile drive on her. Dang. Yeah, the trick for gaining her is you need to have. Yeah, so you, so it's harder to boop her away, but. At this moment, you don't want to deal with it because there's more people on the point. 1v1ing her is not going to help. 
this isn't just gonna this isn't gonna get you anywhere because she's can she has point blank on your crit box as a shotgun she does more damage at this range you want to be farther back farther than this don't worry about her leave her demect oh whatever it worked close enough yeah that took a little bit too long i think you almost lost your entire team luckily your team was it was usable. So this would actually be a good time to actually just pile drive right, well, not pile drive, but to um, put your mines right there, because they can't go through that way. It's coming mid now. Got it. Uh, too far. Oh, I knocked her too far. Oh no. Um, yeah. In those scenarios, it's actually better to do this. So if you hook, hook here, and then you curl around here. Because then you actually hit them better. Um, if they're facing you, that's good. If they're the other way, they actually just get booped to safety, him, which is kind of sad. I think during this entire time, using your mines there would have been completely viable. Because you actually block out an entrance okay. that they're wanting the to take. Things I need to I change so far? Um, yeah, I, I think you could have minefielded that fight. I'll, I'll try to call for it. Look for a minefield this fight, though. So yeah, Winston. Feel that you have. Going okay. Now. Are they still so going? if they go white room, um, you That's can play it. the left side of the, the, the point and go for a boot. No, they're no going, I wanted it. Yeah. Just cut them off of the minefield, honestly. If you can get an angle at it. Yeah. Okay. A pretty decent grapple spot, honestly. He tried to do the quick connect, but missed it. Um, sometimes hitting this point isn't the best thing. Going for lower and then slowly moving yourself outwards. It's better just for practice. And if you've never connected to it before, sometimes you will hit that moment where you're like, I want to quick connect to this thing that I haven't done before. I'm going to be a little generous on the hit. I need healing. Your Diva needs healing. I got boop. Is that going to kill me? I don't think so. I got Ana. Huh. Yeah. Uh, that Mercy should have died. He ran away. And Lucia? Yeah, it would have just been better to... You can actually, um... Ooh, let me actually show you a cool spot. So let me actually show you once. Okay. So, you're able... If I remember right... I think... I think you're actually able to grapple this and swing up to here. I can't remember exactly. I do like actually grappling this spot. And actually swing it across and in. That's pretty good. So, uh, Anna. Where's the point? Oh, she ran away. Kind of Can just abstract. That's a decent grapple spot. <laughs> Unfortunate. I've shattered. Yeah, a little awkward. That's obviously one he hasn't grappled to before. That's good. Okay. Good, grappling a high spot on this point. And the reason is because you can change your height whenever um, you can change. I actually have a clip where I like get, I think like five or six kills just by doing this and swinging people into my mines because then you're able to swing up, around, up, around. And then as you can, as you go, you can do that swing up, around, up, around, up, around, up, around. And you can actually um, switch where you're actually hitting every single time. Can oh, you can get that baby diva. You can get the baby See ya. Diva. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's a good thing to do as well, is get in the face of McCree's and using adaptive shield. Because if... And try to try your best to boop them if you know it will kill them. Um, because sometimes if you boop them, he'll actually just... It, because... Let me actually think. Let me think about this um, real quick. So let's say this is viewpoint and this is hammond if he shoots you only block people standing behind here but if hammond's here if he shoots anyone outside here he can hit so the closer you are the less people he can hit better you got three nice so sometimes it's awkward and i highly suggest not to actually get out of ball form because then you can get headshot and it kind of gets weird well, you can, because it doesn't really change his killing potential. So, yeah. The tracer. 
Solid round. Solid. That's... Take it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, not yet. Um, Three minutes stall right. now. So sometimes it's actually just good to do a quick hit where you just grapple to something in front of you and just swing yourself into him. All right, you got it. Target gets. I like. Oh. Just adds so to the damage. So one thing I would do more is, I I, I feel like you don't pick up a. Uh, ah, God, I'm sorry. I feel like you don't pick up enough uh, health packs. Yeah. So I think you can you can jump the gap. That is very good. That's a very good point. Um, picking up health packs is good if you aren't getting a healing. Just kind of. That's what I tend to do with the first one, is I kind of like test the temperature on the healers of what their priority is, or if anyone else is taking more. So um, I tend to do the, the give them the shot, um, because a lot of times it's good to let them heal you. Um, if no one's taking damage, they get ult charge. Otherwise, yeah. Gap a lot and just grab the mega from both sides. Yours. It's completely different play styles. You go from um, health pack circling to side their everything side. else. Yeah, I don't. I don't and you don't even need to grapple. You can just straight up just jump it. Yeah, but that's a map specific. Okay, so try and use more health packs. Kind of like I try and stick in the fight quite a long time, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like in out in out. Grab health packs, yeah. come back. Also yeah, relieves exactly. So you can actually stay in fights as long as you're able to. It's kind of like that whole idea of if the enemy team doesn't have the ability to kill you, stay there. <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, and then like there's like the whole there's a whole idea of the skirmish fighting with Hammond as well. And that's where you get the grappling to a point and swinging into them. Um, shooting them, grappling like a round object, and then swinging around so that you can come back at them and hit, as well as surveying anything else and possibly hitting other people. Um, so there's many different ways that you can take in the fight and just switch that up. Don't just grapple to the center and spin around. Only do that if you have to just try to stay alive and stay on the point. Otherwise, Pressure don't on your healers, right? Exactly. Pressure and healers, yeah. I mean, you got triple. Oh no, now you have two again. You got uh, Mercy and Lucio. So, so now it's so triple. I like to do here. Yeah. Okay. Triple tank. Yeah, exactly. So now you want to go through main, and you want to try to catch them when they're. So in this scenario, you're not gonna have a Mercy sticking with you. So if you come back, the Mercy will probably heal you. Probably not that much. So I suggest rotating and getting a large health pack, then having the Mercy top off the rest because that's manageable for a Mercy. Going through their mini staircase, and you want to get a swing on them. Otherwise, not really. Um, I sometimes actually like to flank completely around here, um, but I, let's see if we can actually get the shot. You know exactly. Here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Let me see if I can, let me so see if I can pause at the perfect time. And you want to try to catch them when they're going through their mini staircase and you want to get a swing on them. Okay. So if you go on the left side of the pillar instead of the right side, like he's doing, and you grapple to this corner. You can swing up and onto the high ground perch and get a perfect vantage point to just poke down anyone and or pile drive and wait for your grapple. It's pretty sweet. You know exactly what I mean, yeah. So as soon as they're rotating the white for you, right now. you want to get this yep. scoop in the pile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've played Ana. This is what's... Okay. This is something that I'm kind of afraid of because I'm not 100% sure if this is going to occur. I hope that the Ana has brains enough to hang behind a little bit and not stand right next to the Reinhardt, for one. Two, I hope that the Ana notices the grapple hook and the big giant Hammond. This should be a slept Hammond. Pile driver, yes. Just like that, dude. Perfect. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. But really good. You killed the Zen. Um, so in that scenario, I would suggest like grappling here when you can and then swinging around um, because then you're suddenly there. Woohoo! Um, and then also as well, getting in behind completely because trust me, if there's an Ana or anyone who has a stun ability that's just lagging behind a bit, boom, you're dead. Oh, I didn't get a good adaptive though. Have speed and green? Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah, this is gutsy. I use that on the is... Which can work in some levels. Sorry uh, yourself. Yep, good. Yep, good. That was good movement. That was good. Annoying to try and deal with. 
Because you basically scared off the supports and the entire fight was won. Without kills. Um. Nah. Went a little bit too far there. Because hitting that pillar really screws you up. Because all they have to do is rotate around and line of sight. Nice. I have shield, I have shield. So this is where you can hit that corner spot, swing into them, and then get up onto the high ground. You're perfectly safe. That works, though. He had pile drive up, by the way. Just keep track of that. Um, in some of those scenarios, just hold down your pile drive button. I actually have, um, I have crouch on uh, my mouse. So I just hold it down in those scenarios when I know I have like four seconds and I'm midair. I'll just hold it down when I know I want it. And sometimes I hit it because if you hold down um, crouch, you actually just get it. I need healing. Um, aim for heads. I don't know if he was trying to or if it was just like aim issues. Oh, I'd go for the minefield. Yeah, there you go. Yep, that works. Um, I would prefer actually though going further and actually minefield because they're in that little channel. If you throw it at the front of the channel, it makes them makes it harder for them to actually advance forward Nailed it. but it works i'm glad you said that like right as i was doing it means i'm starting to get a hang of this I need help, help. um also in that scenario as well this is why you also want to get it forward as you see these attached to the ceiling is that like right as i was it's not going to ruin pile dr your um mines um because they do so much damage you really only need like three mines to actually do something Doing it means I'm starting yeah. to get a hang of this. I need help, help, sorry, help. Um, ooh, that was a good try. Um, in this scenario, I, I see this is something that I'm noticing with Jane is he's doing very linear, um, grapples. So like you, we saw on on gardens, he had the wall and he grappled here and he went straight and then tried to do a curve. We're seeing a similar thing here, is he's grappled here and he's doing kind of like a curve. Or a front, he can hook. It's a it's an actual thing you can do. Um, you can get more height than a hook, and you can also lift yourself up more. Um, I like to pr I prefer hooks because they're harder to actually aim at than a straight on. Because if you're if you straight on um, grapple to an Ana, she'll just hit you because she doesn't have to move side to side with her crosshair. She just up and down hits you. Oh, I almost got him back into. And that would have actually got him back into it if he did a hook. The so doing a hook, you want to actually grapple. To do to be able to do a hook, what you want to do is in this scenario. So like, let's say if we wanted to hook here to do a um, a hook hook, because you have grapple hook, but this is a hook curve. Um, so if you wanted to do a hook curve here, you would want to, you would want farther out. So yeah. This is a bad place to go, but you want farther away from you in this direction and um, and higher up. So you still have an angle. Um, so if you just did straight out and low, you're not able to do much of a hook um, because you're just going to go in a linear pattern. Granted, it is a pseudo hook. But if you do this and then you immediately... So like in this scenario, you would do you would hold W and A at the same time and you actually go farther out and it creates a longer time in which you are moving. It means you can sweep more people. You can curve and hit people to the right, um, which is good. I'm doing hand right. motions oh, as I'm talking right? and um, I know you guys can't see it, so it's kind of sad, but yeah. Pop those good Did shooting on the Zen. No. Ooh. Um, in that scenario, Hit the roof. Roof's there. Um, a lot of the times people forget where the roof is. Um, Horizon Lunar Colony is a big one um, because the entire place is roofed and you can just grapple to the roof 90% of the time. So it's really easy. Um, so yeah. Sometimes uh, I release the... Uh, oh, we're just going to go... Sp no, my... Damn. Sometimes it's hard to actually connect to certain things and sometimes you connect to the wrong thing. It's okay. Damn it. Just practice. The more time you put into actually practicing movement, the less... the uh, Practicing movement with Hammond is like number one thing to do. 
No! <laughs> it's called momentum. Um, so in that scenario, let me actually see. Ghost, but no, my damn it. Damn it. So see, linear, and he's going to try to correct. What he could do is you connect to here, and then you hook, and you'll actually hit this wall, and you can pile drive straight down. That's what I would have done. No! <laughs> but in this scenario, you don't know who you're going to be hitting exactly, so it's kind of awkward. Yeah, happened. you hit people with the, the grapple, but you don't hit people don't with the pile drive. Didn't see it. Again, linear. You know how... So, like, that... So, this this combo, actually... Let me actually see. We don't talk about it. So, you know how I said the whole hook here and hook up? Um, you can actually do it here as well, as if you hook here, and then you hold... Um, D and then W, you'll actually hook around and still be able to get up onto the high ground. That's the whole hook mentality of it, of being able to hook your movement. Didn't see it. He could have landed on top of this pillar and got in a, a good position, no, but it works. Run. Yeah, we survived. Go point, go point yep, again. good move. Right here. Good move to Who's get out. I think win this. If you yep. there, it's worse. This is yeah, basically you do the I'll rounds and you pick up all the health packs. Now this is something this is something that I don't know if he's gonna do. Um but a lot of people don't do this. Let's see if he actually does it or not. There's not. Nope, he doesn't do it. Okay. So you're at five hundred and eighty eight, you're not full health. And a lot of people don't want to take health packs if they don't hundred percent need them. Since it's on their side, take it. <laughs> you put on cooldown you can prevent some here, that, that's like one of the big things to do is actually taking health packs from just taking health packs wherever if you know that your team doesn't need it and the enemy team might need it because you just deny it my shadow was, I had good job oh, so close. Oh, oh you almost had her he could have um minefielded as well that would have been okay Especially since the Rhine was so far forward. If the Rhine's forward enough and you minefield and you split them up, then the Rhine's dead. Right, right. Woo. Woo. Really low. Really low. Yep. Okay, so that's a hook. He actually performed a hook shot. That's nice. That's that's really nice. So he can do it. It's just Personally, not. I would have gone for the minefield uh, in that fight. Yeah, oh, like hey. Whenever you get a pick advantage or if you're even, it's... I would have done it when the Rhine was farther forward. Are we just, holding like, choke? tossing it in there, even yeah. if you can't get a, a pop driver combo. Oh, go for the boop. No! Oh. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna... No! no! Camera safe. Not like this. That's sad. I'm sorry. No! Oh, poor guy. Save poor guy. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Yeah. Oh, you better on top than the oh, Of course, it's... grapple earlier. It's Man, okay. just pretty that. easy one. Oh, oh, oh. He, uh, I imagine he knows that. It's pretty simple stuff. There we go. All right, I like the... It's a quick grapple, so like grapple here, and you just launch yourself forward. Pathing. So you just go for the mind. Doing this rotation is nice. Like that health pack, grabbing that health pack. Would have so been you want to nice. wait till your team gets to the choke, though. Yeah. So I want to be, I want to be in a spot where I can... So he can actually be right there if he wants. Hit them with care. fireball, then swing up, then mine, then pile driver. Right? Yeah. Exactly. That's optimal. The big one, two, no. You can do a thing if you lift yourself just high enough and you hit like an object, you can launch yourself up even higher uh, and make it so that you can pile drive as well. There's some scenarios in which you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Some people say so it's so not if consistent, but if you practice enough, it is. You can just contest points. Right it's just some people back. difficult. Okay. Uh, so this is good. And then you Honestly, can go completely now, okay. I'll probably running back now. That's, That's pretty good. Nice. Come on, Lucio. I would have even like just stood there and put pile drive next to the point. <laughs> Not pile drive, but mines next to the yeah, point. We're all done. And just be like, like try. Thank Come you. at me, bro. I have grab. grab just, just jump into the so, same thing, spawn door. Them, try and get get a little so bit instead of trying to like push point, I'll just try and disrupt them into my team. That yeah, works. We'll try that. Yeah, they're running ghosts. Okay. They're running ghosts. Oh. 
So you, you'd pull in the point, but it looks like they're already there, so you can't always grab the choke three. Yeah, he's gonna get slept. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Yo, that's a lot of damage. Sorry, like full charge. That was that was a good that was a good leave. Good exit. Oh, I was on the other. Um, it's it's better to actually pile drive behind the grav because of that same reason. Usually, a Reinhardt will try to to block in front of him rather than turn around for the Hammond that may end up behind him. Side of the shield. Because it's hard for those Reinhardts to actually gauge. It's the same kind of thing with a Diva Bomb. You want to throw a Diva Bomb maybe behind them just a little Yo. bit because it's hard to judge when it's like curving up earlier. like that during the arc. Similar oh, thing tired. with like throwing Diva Bombs. Okay, so three can we touch? So this is last fight though. <laughs> this is still a long recording. We got an hour. Get the healer. Oh well. And this is the. I've seen this work. <laughs> yeah, this is the. I'm trying to, to get out of this. Of course, you want to be grappling higher up. Oh, I got slept off the point. Yeah. Mercy's dog shit and isn't that meta? Okay. You're going on fast. So what could I have done to this have more impact there? Like a goat mad. Honestly, that was a bit of a rough one. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, they were running Symmetra almost Zen huge. goats, but they had an Ana instead of Lucio. For True. Like, your comp, you guys didn't have okay, a real win condition other than Grab. Yeah, just getting out of with them. And now we got a Symmetra. So, I think the only thing that could have changed, boot, maybe I think the timing. So that of doors on this one, you can actually flank yeah. around the map. Um, like, which is uh, okay. We, we are going for the I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it's kind of yeah. nice to actually go out um, the front door like and just see. Of course, and I then tell you curving to around the it. regular yeah. section with your team. The sooner before anyone died, um, one person died as soon as you were like swinging up. Okay. Yeah. Good points. I think we should go. Point. So, oh, God. okay. So stopping there would be better because you can actually see if they had anyone up there. Just stopping for a little bit just so that you can actually see. Um, and then curving around this side. So this is a good path. You should have taken a little bit longer. Um, also, you can actually see it. So always think of when you're actually finding like an area, find the dial in which you want to hit. So we want to hit, we want to end up here at the very end of our swing. So where do you think we need to attach to? We need to attach to right here, about in this area. So what we do is we swing here, we grapple here, we swing up and through this window. So just think of it, you want a straight line um, where where the point in which you grapple is central to or the midpoint of the areas you want to actually get into. Um, and it's a short grapple. Gra granted, grapple gets a little bit long, so you want to you wanna be a bit generous on where you want to land because it, it does have a five meter change, so you do want to be like right here. So like hook here and then hook up. It would be a little awkward. Um, worst case scenario, you can actually just hook over the wall as well. Um, in some scenarios, you just, if you want to, yeah, just hook here, hook straight up and come back in. Oh no. That's a whole predetermined hook. It works, but it's not ideal because you run into those scenarios where you sh wanted to hook somewhere else. Didn't get enough speed, I was hoping. Also, as well, um, if he went to, like, right here, you can actually look around this corner and see if someone's coming up as opposed to trying to do a reaction swing. Are they going to chase us? Uh... Also, this is dangerous because you can get booped if they're running any booping materials. And there is some scenarios where if you're pissing off a Rhine, a Rhine will just charge you off the map. Sorry. I wouldn't... I would... Thank you guys. Um, I take checks. Um, I don't have a PayPal. Um, make sure you tip your waiters and waitresses. Um, I'll be here all weekend. I wouldn't trust the right of boop. No? Nah. Good recovery though. I would have knocked them back that way they don't come. We're still here on the edge. Nice. You oh, God. Face, though. So you actually can, can save this. So there's a couple ways to save it. That one, you're going no. down, you need to grapple. No. Oh. At that moment, just circle around. Get rid of that old idea. Them back. That way they don't... Standing here is not going to be good. Pile drive. 
just paw drive immediately because it thrusts you forward, stops your momentum, thrusts you forward, and just slams on the ground. You could have saved it. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's the best. Yeah. That's probably the best way to... That's probably the best teaching no, method valid. of don't okay. just st stand there in the doorway. So I, I, instead of trying to meme, should have just been like been eyes behind him trying yeah. to do the same well, thing. Well, there's not really much so meaning you can do because you don't have a good way to knock anyone off that way. You want to actually go around and possibly hook back in. So if you went around the point, came to the other doorway opposite, you could actually swing back through and try to hit someone if again. Okay, like on. in the courtyard. They went right? ghost first round. Yeah, to keep them from coming to point, you pressure them. Yeah, I guess so. I kind of like going around the other way. Off your tanks. Because you already have people on the point. Good pile drive. I think it took a little bit for you to get out of the ball form, but I think it's a little bit too late. It's been a little too long. Good, you have this healing. Oh, this is where you just go ham. Ooh. Yeah, haha. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. Scuffed hook. Sucks. We're dead. So now they come point. So yeah, you can actually see through there. Just live through what I said. Nice. Almost, dude. Nice. Okay, so that actually helps out because um, you could get the Zen high enough so that he hits the doorway and anyone in this point won't get the healing and you can actually kill him. Um, that as well as it actually lifts him up a bit and you could prevent healing to That's some people on. depending on Do you have a discorder? no 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 oh. okay, yep good. that's good this fight's still winnable so if, uh, you field, I think. so if you grappled earlier um you can kind of like it, you can actually kind of look around here and try to hook into them and then across an angle, go for it. nice that's completely okay um probably gonna die here Oh, ah! Ooh, clutch, Ryan. Okay, yeah, we're good. That's that's freaky. I'm on Diva. Diva Mac one. She good. Oh, oh missed the window. You know what? Bummer. Still won the fight. The it's hard to get through that window. I'll be honest. Yeah, that's all that matters. Oh, this is Ryan. Because you kind of have to stop momentum midair, fall down just a little bit so that you get through. What? Oh, what the? Ha! <laughs> So this one's actually good to just attach here and swing straight in. Because um, you knock him out of the front. Because um, that can happen. Oh. Yo, I don't, should we hold choke? I don't know. So really yes. low, when they get a pick advantage, what you want to do is uh, you want to just try to delay their progress to point as much as possible. Back out. Back out. That is a good... Okay. That was solid. Do you guys see that? That is a lot of the hook pile driver combos you want is just high enough off the ground so that your pile driver is activated um, and just high enough off the ground that you can still hit people with your grapple hook. Point as much as possible. Back Perfect. Back Without dying for it, of course. I'm gonna use all nice job. Oh, Ryan saved you. I have luck shattered. <laughs> Getting a little crazy. No! Oh! Yeah, Second boop on me. Yep. You, man. He was looking for you. Oh, uh, massive bummer. Nice. There's a diva right here. No, yep, good. Good, good, good. Um. Also good, hey, check the corners. Yeah, go. Always good check run. corners as Hammond. Always check corners as Hammond. So before you go around this corner, rotate the camera, check the corner before you go. Thank you. Yep. So that one's a little bit too quick, but okay, let's go. Just done. because you didn't get to actually see if anyone was around on the other side, but well, it I'm works. Dead. Should be dead, but thank gosh for Zen. Um, oh, mines are in the corner. Yeah. Panic ults always suck. Ryan probably will have shatter. Um. So Jane has mentioned that sometimes he releases too early. I do see in that situation he released too late. So just practicing release timings. There it is. Damn, that's getting everybody. Honestly, the best way to do it is if you can mentally see the movement. Yeah, we got five seconds. So at this, so at this moment, if they're going to like. 
get near cap. Better go through hours. You see, and go you need to contest. Switch. Going the flank route around the side of the Stay map rent, is usually the best. So doing the side, because oh, yeah, you can so actually end up on more, fire going through the front okay, door. More harassment, more like um, worst case them, scenario, the Lucio kind of cycling it. Is that the, mm -hmm. is that like the main things that they need to be doing? So one one important thing is when you're on cough, you have the speed, so you can like you can yep. get to choke and get the points or whatever you want as fast yep. as you can. But I yep. think more importantly, when uh when you roll out, you want to go to scout their choke to see what. They're... I was about to say that like I prefer actually going, and scouting out directions and figuring out where they're coming and saying hey they're not coming left or whatever. As long as you can say where they're coming from, it's better. They're running, scout them out, call that out, and then you'll play accordingly, knowing what they have. Okay. Yep. Okay. New body. There you go. This is a good one. Okay. And what makes this one so good for Hammond? So a lot of high ground to get to. You can pretty much jump from high ground to high ground without using much abilities, if at all. Um, let me see what else. A lot of p things to attach to the signposts that attach out from the walls. Those so are pretty you nice. You want to set up at the the Winston spot. Yep. High ground. You know what I mean. The yep, right I high ground. Yep. Yep. And Hammond does a good job of either you can contest whatever hit scan want to go up there because you can just sledge pile driver, you can roll into them, whatever you need to do. Alternatively, uh, you can third person and you can see main, you can see what they're staging for. If they got DPS, yep. you can dive. I mean, not DPS, um, healers, you can dive, you can dive. So, in some scenarios, I'll, uh, I'll actually. I know that spot, so let's, and let's actually the wait tanks, till there. The dive tanks want to jump top left. I actually prefer attaching to the top of this statue and just hooking up first instead of like diving your team you can yep. poke them out with your guns from so faster behind, rollout having to move from your position from yeah just on that high ground like right there yep right yeah. there yeah so you can just are. poke them from there what's hammond's fall off range so you can actually just jump across and pile drive to there or you can just do a quick grapple hook across it's actually better to do a, a quick grapple hook across what did james just ask high ground like right there right yeah. there yeah so you can just are. poke them from there what's hammond's fall off range 40 meters I don't even know. I the, the person talk. It's the same as Soldier and McCree. Exact same. Talking to me and coaching me on Hammond is Yeetle, number one Hammond player. Ha! Hello. You know, number one Hammond player, I'll be honest, I haven't seen a great Hammond player. I think number one Hammond player is kind of low on the totem pole um, amongst things um, because I see a lot of Hammond players flubbing their jumps, all that stuff. Theoretically, these uh, Hammond players should be a lot better than they are now, and you should see a lot more micro decisions happening, a lot more peeling occurring, and all that stuff. But you don't see it anymore. Swap. That's just me. <laughs> That's just my opinion. You know, not the worst thing ever. You guys even have mics? Yes. Hello. You even lift, bro? Hello. Bye. All right. Um. So what I actually like to do, and it's kind of funny, I will straight up go into this hallway, and like wall peek to see the cho to see them walking in because i have enough time to just run back um if they try to go up the high ground and i can see if they're going high ground and or the far right um or up main kind of weird i don't know if to to dive what's the comp kind of weird i don't it's know if to to okay so we have doom genji Hammond, okay, and Anana, these are very good points. So you want to know first what's your main support. If it's a Mercy, what you want to do is you want to cycle, get a large health pack, come back to her to finish up the top. Um, with a Ana, you can actually stick in the fight a lot more often as long as you are aware where the Ana is and trying to keep line of sight. As well, you can actually spend most of your time um, instead of actually retreating, you can, like, you know how when we talked about the Mondata st statue, you can grapple onto that, spin around, you're high enough up in the air, you're inconsistent, that the Ana can actually hit you, um, if she can, and it's hard for the other team to hit you, depends, because it's easier to hit healing. Roadhog, not going to be doing much with Roadhog, I guess you can boot people into him, or into line of sight, it's a little awkward, but, um, you want to be setting up dives with Doom Genji. Ah, uh, you can dive. You can dive this actually. So yeah. as soon as their dive tanks dive, then you go in for their dive. Their uh, um, and, and just start right immediately there. with the pile drive, right? Just that's the initiator. Uh, yeah. And at what point tracer. after that are you adapt okay, activating your adaptive shield? Immediately. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. Immediately. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ASAP. Um, except if you know, it's like they have no follow up. So like, if if you just see a Zen walking up, <laughs> uh, like if it was a Zen and a Sim, just and then just play a little bit and then adaptive shield. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can check this corner, but I also like going all the way up here and checking oh, that man, corner as well, and then just kiting back because you can check this if you're here you can check this if you're here you can check this so you can see Keep all corners means. you can contest that will yeah Ooh. um i i would prefer to stay on the high ground honestly um and in that case you don't actually need to use grapple to get that <laughs> distance but exactly that's how you want to do it yeah yeah then get out Good, getting back onto the high ground. Wait. Sucks to suck, yeah, and you're on a died. Stop whining. At least you have tanks. Could have tried it. Yeah. Honestly, I I've been liking a lot more solo tanking Hammond. To try and go like. So if you're solo tanking, doing it as Hammond's pretty good. Nah. You don't ever do any sort of peeling on Hammond at all? That's a good... So that's one of the signs like I... That, that's pretty oh, good. Shot. It's a, a landmark attack point. Line, just die, you so any of those signs are good. Oh, I'm lucky. Oof. Nice hit. No, it, they were shot back on. Nice. Should have gone back and got the mini health pack. I don't think I can really do anything here. So you can you can just rinse and repeat on this side of this um, building and or this point. Um, if you hit the side of this building, you can actually hook up onto this high ground and be perfectly safe. Nah, this is, this is a lost by egg. Yeah, getting out is also a good thing too. You had 300 health. I would have been going for healing, honestly. Um, the only time that I'm kind of like, yeah, I can still go is if I'm, I'm 500 or above. You want armor, at least. Or else you're just gonna die. Okay. Please, one of her tanks swap to something better. Says the Widowmaker. He's angry. He's frustrated. Triggered. It's obviously not working. Says the Widowmaker. Alright, so now you just go for a minefield pod driver. Yep. They have an auto, so you'll probably need it. Um, Oof. I'm going for it. What? I gotta do it early. Here, because it's still not like. I gotta get the. Uh... In that situation, I would have actually pile drivered and then dropped mines. Because in those scenarios, sometimes you just die immediately, like that happens. And so if you save. Mines. Yeah, one point uh, the pile driver just won't go off. Yeah, because yeah. it's too low to the ground, and the part yep. the activating of the minefield is taking too long, and it's putting me so low that I can't activate. Timing. Yeah. Uh, That's where I'm having problems getting into the use of actually doing adaptive shield before hitting, is because you want to be low enough to hit it, but also low enough, um, high enough so that you still um can pile drive. Yeah, just pull around the corner. Somebody yep, all the way back. So I'll go, I'll try the pathing thing now. You see if I... So yeah, you can see this, grapple onto this top ledge. Um, just hook up, you can get onto this high ground. This is where micro decisions come into play. Where when you hook into here, you have two decisions. A, hey, I want to engage, this is a good idea. Um, then you can do two things. Either A, you release earlier. And you roll, boom, into the Ana, and you pile drive, or you go up higher, and you strafe around the corner, and you pile drive down. That's if you know there's a good opportunity, but they're a little farther away. Otherwise, you want to go straight into them. If you know it's a bad opportunity, and you're probably just going to get obliterated, just go onto the high ground. Three Happy options. Happy. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> just... Screw prime location, because now you're going to get shield bashed. They get around that corner, yeah. Or not. Briggs going to run around you. 
gonna get slapped. That health pack. Hello. Good. Good. Didn't even hit the widow. Widow went up in the air. Oh. Yeah, she grappled the tree. I don't know how I lost the widow. Where did the widow go? The widow was literally in your face. I lost her. I still don't see her. Oh, Where did she, she went? She grappled the mini. Oh, okay. She grappled the tree. Arista, Escape artist. Or, not Hamster hog. Can we stop complaining? Boom. So yeah, and right then, there, um, an issue that arises is the initiation took a bit too long and they pushed too far to the moment yeah. that when you died you couldn't come back it's better to initiate and die earlier um especially when your team's there as opposed to letting it push forward just because you're swinging around um getting that pile drive off earlier would have been better yeah. why aren't you practicing hammond in quick play because this is my hammond account last season i played hammond on it too roasted it's not like I got to top 500 on support or something and then swapped to him, and this is this account that's meant for this. I have accounts for every single role, and that's what I play those roles on. I just have... I have two accounts, actually. Second account I'm actually going to try to main um, off tank, um, but my main account is pretty much everything. <laughs> Muted. Thank you. Feels comp. Yep. Feels comp. The good one that occurs, this is this is the best one, is when um, when you have a, a three stack that's all DPS players and they're flaming you because you're playing Hammond and they want a shield tank and they're also flaming you because you're too far up. And fun fact, if you're wanting to play a main tank style of Hammond, what you want to be doing is you want to be um, pushing them off of the point, spending a lot of your time landing on point or pushing past the point just a little bit and getting getting space. Um, there's a, It's a halfway space, so where you push the team partially back, so not everyone. And so in that scenario, you allow the rest of your team to get in behind you. That's the main tank position. Um, so, yeah. That's a lot of my play style, and so the usually I get flamed because people are like, oh yeah, you're too far up. That's also the sign of a very passive team, because A, using the term you're too aggressive is most of the time a myth. You're too aggressive if you're spending most of your time spawn camping them. If you get a pick and you push them all the way to spawn, that's not over aggressive. That's just snowballing. If you try to push them past the point in order for you to push the point, that's not being over aggressive. It's technically being considered passive by the rest of the team because they're not helping you out. And they feel like they need to be farther back. By the way, this was a Tracer player telling me that. I don't have any only accounts. It's primarily Hammond, though. So Wrecking Ball, Flying Art Lucio. Previously, it was my Learn Brigida account. Before that, hmm. it was just uh, random ass main tank stuff. I don't play a lot on this account. It's, I've had it for like four or five seasons. Only you've played like a couple That's why now. it's called catchphrase. It's a Reinhardt reference. <laughs> okay. So are we trying the with this composition? Yeah. Um So I like to So what I like to do is I actually like to what's their comp? Have a diva. So you what you're gonna wanna be doing is you're on oof. But a soldier in a McCree. So I like actually flanking around the far left side of the map. And then I hook up to the high ground that usually a tank composition or a non-mobile comp will go up. And I'll knock off anyone who's up there. And then it gives me good line of sight. This would be good to help your uh, hit scans out. So I think you just straight up go to top right. You try to swing at them top right and... If you can, you knock them. That's an option as well. So if you go main and you grapple the left side, you can swing up to the top right. Um, you won't be able to get to the Ana far in the back. 
what you would want to do is you want to would be further up main and hit the top right as far as you can and then hook over the point to get to the top right by Viana. That would be the best place to attach to. Um, left side would be if you would want to get onto the high ground on the right or if you want to get into the high ground on the left and pile drive. I do like doing the far left side just to get onto the left high ground because you can also continue more your momentum and go over the point. Let me actually log over in Overwatch so I can actually show you The main guys. thing is you can't commit down a floor too since you have nobody yeah, to help you. Okay. So as soon as you do that, you'll you'll either kite the point or you'll kite back to your team. Could have already used grapple. Yeah, she met. So yeah, that's a that's a good place to go, cause hey, widow's there. You go up there. You wait till you, your grapple comes up. It's all good. No. Stay around the corner. Oh, stay around the corner. Stay around the corner. Yeah, go get help. And armor. Yep. Okay, went a little too far forward. Um, let me double check. Hold on. Believe that. Switched us over to. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Let's actually, let's pull it up. Let's do it. None. We want Bonnie. Yep. Okay. Let's show them what's the roll out. I want to show you guys this specific rollout because um, I don't see anyone else doing it. So the one I'm talking about originally, it so this left side is the one I'm talking about for a regular grapple because you can do this. That's an option. Um, so this is like when micro decisions come into play. You can grapple here. You can kind of search around if you want to. Um, that's a micro decision. Or you can go all the way up to here. Boom. Um, I, I can't remember if you can get all the way there. I don't like going all the way there because you do a straight line when you do. And you can possibly get hit by the Ana. Yeah. So that's if you want to hit there. But I don't like doing that. Um, so there's your, your options there. Um, let's do the left side flank. This is one that I like to do. Um, especially when people aren't necessarily playing dive. Um, there you go. See? Um, so yeah, you can continue all the way across. That's if you want to get a higher height to it. Um, all that different stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. So yeah, getting up here, um, knocking them off. Is great and all. Um, getting across here, you can just do that. That's pretty easy, or you can just do the quick. Pretty easy. Um, the thing I was talking about on defense is this. And then you circle around to right here when you see them starting to approach. And then you circle around to right here. You can do a similar thing here where you just kind of look and then when they're coming across I think you can actually potentially attach there and just jump over here manually let me see if you can can't remember no you can't that's why I usually just did the pile drive combo um, other things you can attach to is this thing you can hook around here get into there it's kind of difficult getting into that guy um, the one that I said getting into the Ana is this one but it's difficult because you have a straight shot um, and the Ana could sleep you. So there's all those. Uh, let's actually show the Li Zhang one real quick. Let's show Li Zhang. Hopefully I get gardens. Otherwise I'll show all of them. Yeah, Night Market. I'll show you the left flank. I messed that one up. Flub the jump. Flub and jump. See, we're on fire as we come in. Um, nice and all. 
Um, the whole thing that I talked about, about checking the corners, coming through here, check, rolling through here, check, rolling through here, check the, check the side, and then if you see them, just do this, boom. Let me see if I can do the hook through the window. I usually don't go for it, but you can do it. Yeah. It's possible to do it. Let me, let me double check. Uh, I think they've changed the hitbox because it looks like that it's not high enough. Yeah, I think they changed the hitbox there. Let me double check that. Yeah, that's difficult. It's a difficult one, I'll be honest. It's usually just better to do this. And then hook him back in. Um, restart match. Let me see. Let's... Oh, same one. I always hate doing this. It's always awkward. An hour and 30 minutes. <gasps> Hey, there we go. So you know how we wanted to hit the diva? Let's actually go to the right one. Oh, also, let's just go ahead and show this. There we go. See? You hook around, get all that stuff good. You can hook here, too. And I jump at the very end of that. Get across. Um, the one that Yeetle talks about is doing the jump over here hooking around here and then you can do this yeah two things you can do it see sometimes roofs ah that's another thing you can do if you're able to keep the momentum it's sometimes hard to actually keep the momentum down there um, and then the jump on D.Va. There you go. Um, also, the other thing on getting over there, these are the eaves. I like the eaves. See, right here. So you can jump down on them, whatever. I like to do it on a GOATS comp because it prevents their back line from actually continuing through. And if you tell your team to initiate on them in this here, you can actually land on them right here and create a space in between them and actually counter goats completely, which is nice. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What was the, what was the first map he was on? Oh, King's Row. Let's do King's Row real quick. While we're here. Let's actually switch over. Okay. Um, I'm starting on defense because I actually want to show you guys a cool trick. Ah. You can jump through that window if you want to. Um. Okay. So this is the position he was in. I'll show you the position that I like to be in. Here. So I like to be in this position because I can, of course, see the front gates and everything. And as they come in, I can do this jump here. That's completely okay. Um, or I can help out support. So sometimes I'll see a dive here. Um, so sometimes my team will be here. If they try to dive this top, boom, in, got them um, peeled out. So this is actually, this is a good example of peeling. So if your support... It's so like if Ana's standing here and they dive, you do this, boom. So your Ana is still able to support your team, but now what you've done is you put a doorway in between them with your body, and now you've got them. You've pretty much hit everyone on the way in. You can do that. Um, 
believe link check you can do this as well so you can help out there so yeah i like this position um of course you can use this position which allows you to do this so you can get that and instead of going this direction this is what i was saying so you can get onto Mondata. That was a little flubbed. Um, let me actually get it just right. So, yeah, you land here, and then... Yeah, so you hit that light post, and you send yourself higher. Um, different ways you can do that. Um, and then their idea is going here. So if you do this, um, they can just turn and just shoot you. Um, here is a good safe way. Once you get here, you're safe. But as you're going to here, you can die. It occurs. Um, swooping around here is also nice as well. Um, you do have grapple, so you can just go here and then go. And then you have a large health pack right here. Um, but they can, you can distract them, which is nice, but they can still KO you. That's also a good way to escape. So, yeah. Let's get back to the action. And I hope that actually changed this over to the right one. Um... Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, it did. It did, it did, it did. I'm using the um, hot keys to switch things over. Nice and hot keys. So now we have contacts. <laughs> Got a friend request from the guy Adam. muted. You want to hear some 14-year-old flame? He's going to want a duo. I have it up already. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to get onto this high ground, that's what you would use. I thought he was wanting to go back here for a moment. I got knocked. Yeah, it's a shallow. It's good to do when you just want to get to high ground, but sometimes you want to be higher up so that you land straight down on them so you don't get booped. That, and you have more time to actually decide where you want to land. Mm -hmm. You should have waited until that. Uh... Really nice. nice, you guys got a pick. Nice, oh, got, got the health back. Uh, we're done. We need to Wants to hit the higher portion. That's See, he's hitting the lower one. Always hit the higher spot. The only case you don't hit the higher spot is when you're playing um, Hollywood. Let me actually pull up Hollywood real quick. Well, he's about to dive me now. I'm pulling it up there in a is, separate he dive, he no thing. Nice. Granted, it, the pile drive didn't okay. hit, but good mechanics yeah. in order to get that. Oh, he yoinked it. He yoinked it from me. Oh. Lost the health back. Okay. Let me double check things real quick. Um, hopefully, the switch thing's over. Yeah. Okay. This is the one I wanted to show you guys. So, this is pretty much one of the only times where grappling lower is better. That's why. <laughs> that was pretty quick, huh? <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Just slide in and just finish off. Up high noon, if you want to jump top right and knock them all up. I do want to mention that was first try. Going now. First try, baby. Um, speaking of which, let's. Hold on. I want to make sure chat's up. Chat! Also, what happened to this? Yeah, I continue playing. Here we go. Oof. That was lucky that he landed on the platform. Good pack. Go for the large health oh, pack. Good job. That was a oh, good wait, recovery. No, what was that? Just transform out of ball. Oh, he's on your diva. oh no. Oof. Oh, Missed. Done. Yeah. Run away. Nice job. Just leave. 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 They're coming for you. Leave. Oh no. Man. Not like this. Not let me out. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. That's. Oh man. 
<sighs> okay, scary times. What do I do differently here? Sites. High ground, flank, point, hmm. mines, force objective. Let me answer that one real quick. What comp are we running? We are running a Moira as our main healer. Always remember the biggest healing output and play around that healing output. We are playing with a Moira, which means what we want to do is we want to A, chase orbs, and B, stay around her when we want to get healed. We want to be going in and out very often. To go up to that high ground position, what you want to be doing is you can swing in up there, but the Niana moves back. So it's actually better to actually go around the far left side or go after someone else. Um, after someone else is completely okay. Forcing point, also good as well. Um, I don't think we force point. Um, going for that on up there is just suicidal at the moment because she has so much protection. You force point, it forces them to get on you. And a lot of the times they'll actually use movement ability to get to you on point. You can movement ability to get out. I mean, I think if you force objective, you just get shot between Widow and Tracer. Yes, but you move away. Um, it's basically just force objective and then off. leave. <laughs> you and don't want to stay. Defense. Didn't really need to grapple. But I understand that. This is a good way as well because you boop them out of the corridor. I'm okay with this. I'll try and poke. Just go ahead and gra do the grapple slide. Just blindly go in. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Hey, someone forced point before you. That was a good use of use of it. You clear off high ground to actually being used. Oh, she's one. You're gonna want out. Oh, oh. Left, dude. We're trying. Been out We're trying. Bummer. Yeah. Are we actually gonna cap this first point? Ooh. Can we do it? I don't know really hey, how to assist hit it. scans as hand. How to assist hit scans as Hammond. Okay, what you want to do is you want to find out where the hit scan is actually positioned. Keep track of that. Um, in some scenarios, what you want to do is you want to do the pile drive and then just tell them, hey, I'm going to pile drive. Um, get ready to hit where I pile drive because that's a good combo with Widowmakers as well as Ashes and McCrees. Both of those can actually deal enough damage to just kill them outright. Um, in a lot of scenarios, what you want to do is you want to swipe um, the team into the hit scan so that the hit scans um, kill him. Basically, for any DPS, what you want to do is you want to shoot, uh, hit them into line of sight. So, for example, this brig isn't just going to stand in front of the soldier's line of sight. So, what you want to do is you want to get into positions, swipe hitter with grapple hook, boom, she lands here, and hey, she's now in line of sight and she's now getting shot. Let's Damn. practice that up. Yeah, that is the hard part. Um, it's just straight up, you soft engage and hoping in that window of time they start shooting things. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't do is Hammond. Like the Widowmaker's not really in a place that I can... This, this is coming from the mentality of getting in and disrupt. A lot of people don't really understand what disrupt is. What you want to do is you want to move the position of the enemy team. You want to move them around. You want to hit them. You want to slide them in any way, shape, or form to get them into a position where your team can kill them more as well as you being able to kill them as well. Sliding them off the high ground is pretty nice. Doing all this is great. Um, so, yeah. Doing that is good. Right. They're doing really well at healing. Oh, go away. Just leave. The tracer is going to be on you if you just, just grapple and leave. Um... You're, you're good. It's kind of hard to kill a tracer because um, you can basically burn through 300. You would have to burn through like almost 300. And it's hard to do with one clip. Oh, and she had pulse bomb, so that's a bummer. Yeah. Widowmaker's getting peeled for Could have probably well. survived if she didn't pulse bomb. She's low there. So another thing you can do with that hook around the left side is you can get straight up above the point from there and then pile drive on top of the point. So instead of curling even further, you release earlier and just hit the point. Grab it, I grab it, I point, I nope. Roll, 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 roll. Okay. 
Oh, winnable. Health pack? Nice. Nice. Yeah. This is a good position as well. People forget Hammond has the longest range hit scan. Oh, longest effective range. Diva technically um, is there too, but her fall off is so much that it's just tickling. Got it. Nice. Range. There you go. Yeah, is it taking it back? Blade, they peeled off so many blade, people to get it, people that were driver, further up. You really do with it. Yeah, you wanna you wanna make sure to call out to seizure so warning. You know that you're gonna engage first. Yeah, you and you wanna get, get the shield I bash out of breathe. You want her to shield bash yeah, you. Yeah, just let me know when. Correct. If you wanna go in, I'll pile drive them for you. Okay. That's good to do. Okay. Take notes, everyone. Tell the Genji <laughs> that I'll go in with you. So as soon as a lot of the times, I I like having other people call the dives, mainly just because. I want to be worried about helping them get the kills as opposed to me setting in and then hoping that people follow me. Um, just because I'm going to boot people into the air and with pile drive, and then people are going to have to decide things. I like the option to figure out of, hey, do I want to peel or if I want to get closer and hit someone further back? Do I need to disrupt? Do I need to do something in the middle um, and kind of split them up? What do I need to do exactly? And I make that decision after my team is engaged, um, which is kind of difficult for the team that's engaging. That's kind of why I like D.Va, landing a little bit be before. Because you see the opportunity where they're like clumped in, you can just swing in for it. Yeah. So they start. Um, right now, the statue is a good place to attach to. Um, and if you get further, attach it to this wall is better. Um, but at the moment, if you wanted to attach to anything, that statue is good um, because it allows you to swing up into it. Start peeking around that green bus. Landmarks. Right, the just Signs also good. Um, pretty much defensive only. This is better if they peek around on there. offense. The tracer's behind us still. Oh, nice on the read. Whenever we turn this corner on both, we can this. So at this moment, what you need to be doing is is hugging the corners and checking out the, the walls and figuring out your next thing. Right here, that's your, that's your next landing point. And you know how you do it? Right there. You can grapple this if you wanted to hook further around because, well, not if you wanted to do more linear, this is good for kind of a hook. Um, so if they were right here, you would want to grapple here. Um, but because they're right there, just grapple so, there. Yeah, yeah, Let's go now. Right you want to get the I Widow wait. first. Ooh, wait a little bit longer on that one because you do go a bit further. Grapple higher. That one's not yeah, as high. Perfect. Getting the large health pack. That's a good rotation. I think movement he needs to practice the most. Um, oh, should have waited longer so that is... Um, Lol. Nice. So, some people kind of aren't really familiar with what happened with Hammond's reload. It used to be super overpowered. So, it used to be that you could reload while in ball form. So if you transform into a ball and hit the reload key or whatever, um, whatever you have, basically what would occur is he would go through the animation internally. And so you could transform and in two seconds you would have it reloaded. You can cancel, at the moment, you can cancel your reload animation and get into your ball form and shave off, as long as you cancel within the first second, and then you can shave off three seconds in side ball form so you can start reload before you transform the ball and the rest of the reload animation will continue in ball form um, but it adds a little bit of time in ball form overall it takes four seconds to actually get your um, your guns reloaded and that's enough time to go through a whole grapple and pile drive shenanigan and so that's a good rotation is land shoot 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 Grapple, swing around, land, shoot, shoot, shoot. Grapple, swing around, land, shoot, shoot, shoot. Because that actually is a perfect rotation with ammo. Um, and it also helps out. The only times you really want to be reloading consciously is if you're in scenarios where you literally are just standing in a position and you're just shooting. 
Just looking like good a getting back. Okay, at this moment, you have a diva going up high ground. I would honestly be pushing back here just in case they have anyone coming from underneath. So yeah, pushing up here. Um, hooking up and just hooking, trying to get into that diva. Yeah, right. Would be nice. I would, I would have engaged on the diva. So you, he can grapple up above himself, and do like a a slow grapple up to that high ground. Um, because basically the farther back you are um, from where you're grappling, the more speed you're going to be able to get. If you So like if where you're grappling is directly above you, you can do a slight glide up there, which isn't the best thing in the world, but it's a thing you can do. It's usually better to take a step back and go. But hey, Widow one, Widow one, Widow one. Surprise, surprise. They probably had sights. Widow sights. Yeah, just they go back, escaped. get get the health packs, really the large room, health packs. You have 200... And 50 health. Um, so I would say just stick with the Zen. Team? <laughs> Oof. I want the trance. You don't get insta healed by Zen. He's at 300 oh, health. Why is it so much damage? It really isn't. It was medium amount of damage. A widow shot, bo body shot at you, and a tracer just drilled into you. Did I get headshot out of ball? No. I was like immediately half healthier. We would have heard a dink. Yep, there wow, you go. Was... Can you go? Uh... So if you think about it, Trace put a clip into you. Let's say she did 200 damage. Widow body shot you, 120 damage. So yeah. Uh, can you Anna or Mercy? Okay, so you guys have a you have a diva bomb here, so you can look for a diva bomb. Anna or Mercy. Hey, Diva, when you check your bomb, I'll just pile drive them. That's good. Alright. Uh, good thing in combos good. with that. Uh, I'll know one. Would I? So. Because this is, this one's a difficult one. Um, you can do the back out, like Jane's doing, probably jump off the high ground. Um, there's also, of course, other ways. If you know they don't have stunning capabilities, you can just grab this top of this archway, swing in, swing back out, just get a little pepper damage on them, charge your ultimate just a little bit, get them away from you um, a little bit, and then you can just go down the hallway and get a large health pack. All right, so I'm going to check it out. Three, two. Oh, nice. You actually got <laughs> um, that one was another instance of we'll take it. not I thought it, I not thought it was detaching quick enough good kind of peel for the tracer you know what I'm okay <laughs> with that that's pretty good yeah worth they just armed man so worth it <sighs> that's worth it they didn't have defense hold oof that one he didn't even get stunned for uh, he just released too early. You do gotta like rely on combos and your team to follow up. Yep. More so than I think any tank, Hammond is just like an enabler yep. or disruptor rather than like something that can really get kills on his own. So you can get kills on your own. Um, it is completely possible. You just land your pile drive onto someone, make sure that you're landing it perfectly, and um, tracking as well. Um, you need aim. Basically, Hammond has the same kill potential as D.Va um, further because he has burst damage. So you can 1v1 a lot of stuff. Um, picking off on on people who are already take damage. So pile driving people who have already taken damage is a lot better. Um, but if they're getting pocketed, yeah, you can't solo them. Absolutely. Oof. No, that, right? I feel like he's a hero that you got a shot call more on than I can, uh, can True. Yeah, because, like, like you know, even if, uh, like, squishies are getting healed at all, it doesn't even have to be, like, hard pocketed. It makes it extremely difficult for you to really land yeah. any kind of solo kills. That's why, that's why I tend to like to um, either just pile drive and leave, because they're just going to heal themselves. 
um, or I actually swipe through them if I really want to kill them. You do kind of like the roll into them, hit something solid, bounce up, and then pile drive. Um, and that's so that you boop them away from their support. And there's a brief moment in which they're the probably not going to get healing. You know, 600 health, even with the adaptive shield, just melts so fast. True. Uh, he'll be behind car. Behind car, he'll be behind car. I'd go for that, Ana. Yeah. Here from healing. Oh god. Yeah, that's okay. Oh nice. That's convenient. I don't get off card. So at this moment, you're worth more actually grappled to the cart and swinging around than you are to actually stand there like a diva. That's diva play style because diva can't swing around and deal 50 burst damage per shot. Um, oh, I do yeah. like this kind of mobility because um, it's a skirmishing mobility, oh, nice. which oh, oof, man. it's just kind of getting it precise. It's better to do that because he's now trying to do hooks. Like we were talking about. There you go, grouping on there. So you're now at the cable length where you actually run to this. So what you're going to want to do, and this is where things get a bit complicated, is as you swoop around, you jump right before you hit, and you can actually continue. The target really helps. So, yep. so go jump. We're just going to play billiards go, with each other. Apparently. Jump. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, hey, yep. we did it. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And yes, you can solo. If you use your ult, you can pretty much solo the entire team. It can be done. You basically Actually ult, pull drive, uh, and then you target. Um, you can get triples and quads Five by yourself. Um, Were we in overtime? Basically, ah! if you yeah. pile drive, <laughs> um, and then you focus down one guy, Somehow. and focus uh, down the next guy, and then you can grapple, hit into someone, and then burst them down as well. Um, so you can get those, especially if someone else is shooting, just a little bit. You're your burst damage gets a lot more value on people who are just a tad bit lower health, so it is better to actually be hitting people Wait, who are damaged. Right it's the Winston. same thing as Winston. I'm a, I'm a swing oh, oh, I've no. seen this like on Reddit. Ha! Ha ha! Family friendly streaming. Family friendly streaming. Family friendly streaming. Uh, okay, okay, I see you, Jane. You know what, dude? All right. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yeah. yeah, doing that's better. I mean, I need to fix some stuff. I messed up my. Sorry. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna. That's good. They have a brig in there. You really don't want to do that. Because if you adaptive shield, there's a good chance it's blocked. It's done. Yes, doing this is a good idea. Hey, lucky there. I'm just running to there, jumping, you have height. Hey, Widow. Where's your Widow at? Over there. Alright, oh, I'd be careful here. Yep. Run! Nice job. Body block for the Bastion. Nice shot. Oh. This guy. Nice pile drive. Nice. Oh, I'm looking at That's good. Oh, by myself, no. Release too late. Uh. So, in some cases, if you allow yourself to slow down, 
you don't stay on f fire as much, so the earlier you release, usually the longer you stay on fire. Keep on, keep on that blade. I'm coming back with blade. Or you can hold for long enough that you actually go on fire twice. Will he make it? You need to get in there. You need to get in there. There we go, perfect. So you can actually keep that while having your grapple attached. I usually do that. Or I, I stop mid grapple. We tried. There you go, done. <laughs> That's it. <sighs> we. Thanks if anyone watched. I don't know. I love you, dude. That's pretty empty. Sad face. Um, yeah, there you go. That's it. See ya. Bye. Sayonara. I need to eat dinner because I haven't eaten. Which is sad. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I'm pr maybe post this on YouTube. If you see, if you're watching this on YouTube and you see this, just laugh. Um, if you've watched for this long, post in the comments, LOL, or something like that. I don't care. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. See ya.